Welcome to the Cryptable YouTube channel. As many of you may know, Vertcoin recently released a miner for AMD graphics cards. It is described as faster and more stable than an MKX miner, and unlike MKX, Vertcoin's LiceL miner is open source. The code is available on GitHub, which I will link to in the description. Here are the steps to getting started with mining, along with the timestamps on the left. The first step is to make sure you have the latest AMD Radeon drivers installed on your computer. If you are currently on 18.5.1 or newer, you can skip to the next step. If not, make sure to install the drivers. The, this page shown is linked in the description. When you have downloaded the drivers, you can run the executable file and go through the setup with the express install option. This process will take a few minutes, so I've fast forwarded it here. You may skip installing Radeon Relive as it is not necessary. Once successfully installed, you can continue to the next step. Use this time to pause if necessary. Before we download the miner, we need to create a new folder and exclude it from being scanned by the antivirus. The reason for this is that most miners are incorrectly recognised as malware. Once you have created the folder, open up your antivirus software. If you are on Windows 10 and are using the included software, the antivirus can be accessed via settings or the system tray by clicking the shield icon. Access your antivirus settings and look for exclusions. In the included Windows antivirus, this can be found in virus and threat protection settings. Add an exclusion for the folder we just created, in my case AMD Miner, and proceed to the next step. Pause now if necessary. Now that you have created the folder, you can download the LiCL Miner. The Li comes from the mining algorithm used by Vertcoin, Lyra 2 re v 2 and CL comes from the fact that AMD GPUs use the OpenCL computing language. Within the readme of the page, there is a link to the downloads page. Both of these are linked in the description. Go ahead and download the latest version into the excluded folder. Once downloaded, extract the LiCL zip file by clicking extract at the top and then extract all. Or if you happen to have 7-zip installed as I do, right click the zip file and choose extract here. On opening the LiCL folder, you'll see a page with a few DLL files, a kernels folder and the executable. This step has now been completed, so you may pause now if necessary. Step 4 is to create a generate config file. This is done to automatically recognise your GPU and create a config file specifically for that GPU. To do this, right click in the folder and then choose new and then text document. Name it genconf.bat. To ensure this has been performed correctly, click the view tab at the top and then file name extensions. If you see a .txt at the end, make sure to rename it and remove the .txt. Now, right click the genconf.bat file and choose edit, and either copy and paste the instruction from the GitHub page or enter as shown on your screen now and then save the file. Once completed, run the bat file by double clicking or right clicking and choosing run. Your conf file is now generated but you have to edit it to point it to your address and chosen port. This will be shown in the next step so you may pause now if required. As you have your conf file generated, edit it so that it will mine to your address and pool of choice. Upon right click you may recognise that there is no edit option. Not to worry as you'll be able to choose open with and then notepad and edit it that way. Or if you have Notepad++ installed, you can just right click and edit with Notepad++. Firstly, we'll have to change the connection URL to a pool or node. This will usually be an IP address or a web address, followed by a colon and then a port number. I have my node page open here and I will copy and paste the pool address as shown here to replace example.com colon port. Make sure to keep the Stratton TCP part as it is necessary. For the username, the address will have to be a non-segwit legacy address as at the time of recording most pools do not support segwit addresses. As usual, if you are mining, you should only use a Vertcoin Core wallet. If you click File, then Receiving Addresses and Generate an Address, you will see that the address starts with a 3, whereas an address that starts with a V is required. 
To do so, click Help Debug Window, then Console, and enter the text shown on the screen. Within the speech marks, you can give the address a label, for example, it can be called My Name. I will include the text in the description so you can copy and paste it into the console. The correctly formatted address that starts with a V will be outputted here and will also be available in File then Receiving Addresses where you can easily copy and paste it into the configuration file. The password fill was not required with most pools so I left that as it is. You can double check with the platforms and devices to make sure that the AMD card is included by looking at the bus ID and if you have multiple cards and only want to mine with a specific card you can remove any lines where the card has a bus ID you do not wish to use. Make sure to save the file once you are done. Before we move to the next step here is some time to pause if need be. Now that everything is configured, you can run the miner by double clicking lycl-miner.exe. You will see a console appear with the pool address and hash rates. The last step is to check the pool if your address appears. To do this, navigate to the page of the pool you're mining on. It may take a little while, but you should see your address there. Initially, the hash rate may appear to be low, but this will increase to match what is in the console after your computer finds a few shares. Congratulations, you are now successfully mining Vertcoin with your AMD graphics card. If you like this video, I would appreciate it if you click the like button and also subscribe. Feedback is always appreciated, so leave any in the comments down below. Thanks for watching this video by CryptoBull. Stay tuned for more like this and have a good night. See ya.